Okay. Today we're going to continue with some more probing cycles on the Haas CNC using the uh, Renishaw probe and what Haas, Haas calls VQC, which is visual quick code. So today we're going to use the probe to find the corner of this piece of material here. And the probing cycle is actually called probe vice corner but you can use it to probe the outside corner of anything. So go over to your control and you're gonna press the MDI button, the program button, and that brings up your menu here. And depending on what offset you're gonna use and the parameters of the block that you have, you'll fill in these, um, you fill in the blanks basically. So I'm gonna use work offset 56. So I hit 56 enter uh, the x width which is the overall width of that block is roughly six inches y width is three inches uh, the z depth is i'm going to use minus 0.4 inches and that's minus 0.4 from wherever you place the probe when you jog the machine into position okay and then i'm going to hit the number three to record this macro to MDI and I'm going to run it in MDI. So I hit the number three and it pushes it over into MDI. Then I'm going to hit handle jog and I'm going to jog the machine into position. That way when we go into MDI and press cycle start, the machine's in the right place. So you don't have to be super accurate with where you put it as far as the position goes. You just want to be within about, I don't know, a little less than an eighth of an inch or so. Um, it's got some error built into it, so you don't have to be exact. So get it close to the corner. I'd say that's close enough, all right? And you go back over to your control, press MDI. And I like to see the offsets change to make sure that they actually change. So I'm going to hit offset twice to go into the bottom, the work zero offset screen. And I'm just going to highlight the line for G56 so I can watch those numbers and make sure they change. So always turn your rapids down, make sure they're down on like 25%. And then hit cycle start turns the probe on, moves over to the approximate center, touches off on the top, and that's your Z, zero. And touch off on the left-hand side, that's your X, zero. And then it's gonna go to the back, touch off the back, and that's gonna be your Y, zero. It goes back to the corner. And then when you look back at the control, you see the numbers have changed, and that's gonna be an accurate point. So no more guessing, no more edge finders. It takes a lot less time and it's a whole lot more accurate than any other method I've ever seen. And uh, you know, it's not a cheap option. I think it's about $6,000 option on the machines, but of all the options you can get, I'd say this one is definitely worth the money, especially over the long haul. You know, if you plan on having a machine for any length of time and doing Lots of different setups and stuff like that. It's money well spent. Uh, the only other thing I'd mention is I would like to make sure the top of the part is going to clean up. So I usually go to the Z and take about another 10,000 soft. So minus 0 0.010 and hit enter. And that way, when you come down to skim the part, you're, you're actually cleaning it up completely and you don't leave any unmachined surfaces. And that's it for this video. If there's anything else that you'd like to know that uh, you'd like to see a video on, feel free to let me know, leave a comment, and I'll do my best to get back to you as soon as I possibly can. My name's Adam. Uh, that's about it for today. Don't forget to subscribe if you like the videos. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Take care.